with only two sets, so it seems reasonable to me. Let's do it. On brand with a sigh. I do sigh a lot. Maybe I should stop. I don't know. We've definitely got some width going on here. And I'm just going to say, from, from the overhead, those are some pretty solid bunker shapes. They definitely have some interest to them. We've got a lot of width going on. Sculpting is a little, a little weak on the bunker there. And when I say weak, I don't mean bad. I just mean like it could be stronger, if that makes sense. And we also have some very interesting new plants that I have never seen before. Uh, the mountain palm, I guess is what I'd call those. Oh, look, there's more of them here. Mountain palms everywhere. That is an interesting thing to create. Good job, mountain palms. The thing is, mountain coconuts are actually bear turds, so I would just avoid all of those. Which uh, is a whole new meaning to coconut water, too. So, Very inviting first shot there. We've got a clear sky. We've got a pretty big green. It slopes pretty good, though. There's not a lot of red and, and, and a lot of yellow, but it's, it's all one direction. Uh, which means it's going to be fairly substantial. Come on, wind. Do me a favor. That was not what I was looking for. Whichever works for me. 160. Well, that was poorly done. But I left myself a nice little uphill, right? Oh, sure. Slider left to right. Let's do that. Seems reasonable. So 160 is slightly slower than anticipated. What is that? You got a house with a fence up there. Is that a neighborhood? I want to look. It doesn't matter. I'm just curious. Yep. A little neighborhood action going on over there. It's got access to all the houses. Don't know. Don't care. 202 yards. 32 feet downhill. That is a lot of fairway for a par 3. And these bunkers again, I think they're just a little... You could be a little more dynamic. The shapes are great. I feel like the sculpting could be just a little stronger in a couple of places. And this wind is going to suck. 95. That's exactly what I wanted. Let's see if it works. Hooray! Hooray! Validation is mine. Hooray again. More, more palm trees over there, right? I'm not sure how I feel about those yet. Maybe they're called flying ferns. I'm looking at this hole, and I, I really like it from the tee. I really, boy, I really want... There's movement. I just really want things to be a little... A little stronger on the sculpting. Just a little... You know, hires to be a little higher, and lows to be a little lower, and bunkers to be a little stronger. It's a good look. I just, I'm just yearning for things to be just a little more forceful in their execution. Am I wrong there? And anybody else feeling that way? It's very natural. And uh, for a long par four, I kind of like this as a long par four. This is this is uh, this is a good long par four. Ooh, ooh. And I think I'm just gonna be short and deal with my life. Hopefully, it'll run. Skip. 
Hey, played the bounce. And played it so well that I went all the way off the green. Hooray! That takes good planning. Shots like that don't just happen, guys. You gotta you gotta really you gotta really work. So, you know, don't slack off. Practice. And then you too can hit it all the way over the green. On a bounce. After hitting the shot you wanted. And then hit a bad chip shot. And then salvage a putt. I like long tee boxes. I'm interested to see what's going on up over the hill here. It's also kind of a narrow opening too, isn't it? It's not bad. I think distant. I, I think it's fine, and you give people plenty of room in the landing. Like you, you've got twice as twice as much room as you feel like. I like this tee shot. It's pretty cool. You could open it up more to the right, but I don't think you need to. I think it's fine. What do we have going on here? We have stairs going up the hill. I could have done without the stairs. I mean, I understand, but I think just a, you know, a patch of rough or something would have been appropriate. I don't think the stairs were were a necessary thing. Besides, I mean, this is, I guess it's slope, but this is just as wide as down here. Here, Now, if the pin's way in the back, yeah, I guess. Yeah, it's fine. Just lose the stairs. We've got some good surrounds going on here. Everything's pretty natural, but it's very understated. I like that. I like that you haven't felt the need to... You know, be heavy handed with your planting here. I have no idea how this is going to work. Well, the wind did not do a blessed thing. You'd think I'd learn eventually. You would be wrong. Do, 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 do. Wow. Wow. Well, Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. How many bad putts can one guy hit on a single hole? Answer? Three. Wow, only three. That was a bad putt, too. The hole just got in the way. The putt itself was terrible. You guys don't even know. This part of three is not really doing much for me here. Kind of. Kind of generic. I mean, we got these bunkers, but... I don't know. I mean, is it a bad hole? No. I mean, it, but it's just kind of a... It's just kind of a hole. This is all really nice over here. That's good work. Bunker shapes are cool. You've been a little stronger in the sculpting, which I appreciate. Just the hole itself is a little meh. That's not going to get there. Wow, look at that. This wind is not having the effect that I keep anticipating. I... And bad. I am so bad that Michael Jackson made a song about me. There's your other obscure, needless, dumb dad reference for the day. Remember how I told you I could only do three bad putts on a single hole? There you go. All three. So I'm kind of playing quickly. I'll slow down a little bit. All right. This... Um, the water line here. It's all right, but like I said, you need, or as I've said before, you need things to break it up. You need things to, to change the way it 
looks. This looks very much, and I know this isn't what you did, but it's like, okay, grass, 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 plant, plant, fern. Grass, 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 plant, 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 fern. Grass, 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 plant, plant, grass, fern. It's just very almost copy-paste. I am a little at a loss why, and this is what I mean by widening things to, to improve views. By the way, this bunker is the best bunker I've seen on this course so far. Good job on this bunker. It's it's deep enough. It's got enough uh, flat enough pan. I mean, this this is this is a well done bunker here. But had you extended fairway up to the right here a little bit, is anybody gonna play it? No, but I think it would have changed things visually a little bit. But that's a good bunker. That's a nice strong bunker. I like it. And I've got screaming children downstairs. The one up here on the right is pretty good, too. Based on the elevation of the green, yeah, this bunker is appropriate in its in its sculpting. Um, that one's close, but I'm not quite sure why it's so far away from everything. I mean, what is that expected to, to do? I guess it's a nice frame. But I feel like you could have framed it. I mean, you could even put another one back there to the left. It's a good framing bunker, but... The one on the right is uh, very well done. Now, is that wind going to help me at all? I've given up trying to figure out what the wind is going to do. My fast swing helped me. Hey, nice job, Golf Wolf UK. Or maybe your name is Golf Wolf Cook. Yeah, it's my surname, Garth Wolfcook. In between the holes, I like to eat bits of Strengsang. What is that? I don't know. It's a food I made up. Tastes like peaches that were, like, soaked in dog urine. And then uh, rolled in some form of... Some form of... Uh, fermentation salt. Well, I may have been right the first time, but I was I enjoyed the second the second time more. Those bunkers are not quite as quite as good. It's all right. Again, the shaping on your bunkers has been kind of fun. I'm going to be honest, though. I'm, I'm always honest in these critiques. I'm not... Like, if you were to say, Oh, tell me about hole three. I have no idea what hole three was. I could not tell you what hole three was if you put a gun to my head right now. I would say, I have no idea. In other words, things are running together on me just a little bit. You're right, I should not cook that. Which is good, because it's meant to be eaten raw. So there, take that. Now you don't know, do you? Now you're wondering, well, maybe you should cook it. Maybe that would sanitize it, and then you could eat it. Look at that. Every bead there was moving to the right. All of them. And that putt moved exactly zero centimeters. Probably zero millimeters, too. They're Poa Greens, maybe. I don't know. We got some more uh, <clears throat> mountain palms. I, I like the wasty areas. I feel like they either needed to be a little thicker or perhaps, you know, you left the natural texture there. I'm wondering if you could uh, could have put if not bunker texture, some other texture in there, too. This bunker sits nicely off the tee. I think that one's fine. Could it be stronger? Sure, it could be stronger. But it's fine. That ought to get over there, no problem. 
<laughs> this one's got a little more depth to it. This one I think could have. I feel like the areas around the greens so far have all been pretty tame. Um, just from an elevation standpoint. Like, I mean, there's, there's a little movement, a little mounding, but it's all been pretty tame. And again, that's fine. Just, I don't know. I feel like the course could have had a little more character had, uh, had you brought a little wildness in around the greens. Well, that was poop. In a shoe. Nope. Yeah, well. So yeah, that uh, wild area looks better from this side than it did from the front. Or from the T, I guess, not the front. If you play a hole backward, oh, never mind, I'm going to stop right there. See like this, sorry. Ooh. Like this. This is a little wilder, a little a little fuller. And I think that helps a little bit. The bunker shape on this one I'm not quite as sold on. I think that's a little I don't know. It looks good from the T though, and that's really the most important part right now. It does. It's a good T shot. I like it. I like the openness of the course. That doesn't bother me at all. Like I said, I feel like you could have just dialed up some of the uh, some of the elevation and some of the bunkers. You could have dialed up, you know, to an 11 or 12. This is a great bunker shape. I will tell you that. That's really good, and it does have a little more depth than some of the others. I guess what I'm talking about with strength is I'm I'm looking at this, and based on the angle. I mean, I'm imagining the the back edge of this bunker here being just elevated quite a lot more almost hiding part of the green over here and looking, you know, really like it, it, it's supposed to look intimidating. Now I'm imagining it like a wall of sand just staring at you and daring you to hit over it. Hmm. Not as much as I thought I would give me. That's okay. Oh, I thought that would turn a little more at the end. I was mistaken. These greens have been very subtle. And I'm probably just putting really poorly. But at the same time, the breaks really have been very subtle. And the speed is just, just slow enough to make you kind of angry. Another par 3. This, this one I'm a little better on. I, I don't understand the tree being in the way. I mean... I get it, but at the same time, why? I mean, um, the green shape is, the green sculpting is going to be the interesting part of this hole. Um, but again, it's just pretty straightforward. There's not, not a whole lot going on. Par threes have been a little, little lacking in my opinion. Although the sloping on that green was just incredibly perfect, as you can see. Just cradled my ball and gently guided it down towards its final resting place. Another one where the, the narrow entry to the fairway I just don't get. I feel like you could have expanded it one way or the other. Now, based on the lighting, it doesn't matter a whole lot, but imagine the lighting being this way. Sorry, just for a second. Ugh, why can't I ever get this dumb camera to do what I want? Let's go over here. There we go. Imagine the lighting being this way. Having a narrow opening like that would have been a problem. So, um, shape's all right. Just, again, could have been a little stronger, I think. It's a short hole. Not 
not one that's going to stick in my brain too much other than you know i like the the planting short of the green and i like the fact that you left it open to the to the left this i like this is good that makes me happy the run on the the angle of that green is uh that was a good choice bud good work you get a gold star I have a lot of gold stars. Just the the uh, stickiness on the back is mostly gone. So, look at that. Again, every bead was going to the right. Every bead, and it did not move until the very end. <laughs> I don't understand this at all. HB, HB, get your physics people straighten out. HB, oi. I understand what's going on here. I'm just trying to see if it's worth going that much shorter. I mean, in a headwind, yes. Looks nice off the tee. This first, uh, this first fairway bunker. It's it's not super deep, but it's angled in such a way that it works nicely. The ones to the left, I'm okay with those being not quite as in your face. This is a this is a pleasant tee shot. It's inviting, it's needlessly intimidating. In other words, you know, you're looking at it and you really shouldn't be intimidated, but you kind of are a little bit. This bunker is one that's just purely visual because, I mean, nobody's going to hit it, you know, eight yards off the green in a video game. It's just not going to happen unless they make a horrible swing, in which case, whatever, but... This is one again where you could have you could have really made that just a menace. Just a menace. And I think he would have liked it. The runoff over here is nice. It's not gonna catch too much, but I like having the short grass over there. Oh goodness. I have no idea. You all do the math on them. I just play feel, which is why I'm bad. I'm not sitting here and doing a bunch of, you know, I have this high up, so I take off this running and blah, 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 blah. I just kind of look at it and go, yeah, it seems, looks like, looks like about a kick killer. Like I said, the greens are just a little annoying. In a good way. They're pleasantly annoying. Like when your favorite child won't stop talking. This is a better looking Tisha. I like this one. Again, there's it, it's pretty straightforward. There's nothing, nothing out there to worry too much about. It's just an inviting tee shot. How long is this hole? This is a okay. So this is a par five. Mm. I think you could have made one of these shots harder. The tee shot could have been harder, or the layup could have been harder, but something, some, one of them needed to be a little bit harder. Yeah, absolutely, Energizer. And, and like I said, everything here is fine. It's good. I like your runoffs. I like your greens. I like the bunker shapes. Uh, I feel like a few of them have been... Like here, I feel like that's a little too far from the putting surface if you're going to sculpt it um, not deeply. This one's actually done fairly well right here. I feel like this part could have been lower, but this part up here is actually done fairly well. But yeah, just a, just a little, just a little, you know, turn it up a notch. Again, that's just my take. I think the course will do great. I think you'll have uh, tournament plays. I think it'll be fun. I don't know. What do you think? Am I am I being too harsh by saying that? Am I? That's just my opinion. If you think I am full of crap, then I am going to be the first person to always tell you 
You design what you like, guys. Anytime somebody does a critique, just take what they say and say, yeah, I like that. Or say, yeah, that's your opinion. I like it the way I did it. And you know what? If you like it the way you did it, keep doing it that way. 100%. It's a video game. You paid for it. And you paid for it to have fun with it. And it's not fun to have people say, ah, your stuff sucks. So, you know, do what you want to do. Well, this is a conundrum. Let's see if we can 95 it. Oh, we did. That's exactly what I wanted to do. And it wasn't enough. I should have just hit it 100. Yeah, well. Oh. Well, well, well. Now the choice is to be made. Hmm. I don't know that that's a good choice, but I'm going to do it anyway. Nope, it's not going to break back. Yeah, well. I, I actually wanted to get it up into the fringe. I just didn't quite... I gotta commend you again. Your greens are just, just subtly frustrating. I like your neighborhood down there and the rocks along the, uh, the water. They're done nicely. Those are harder to do than people think. Also, please explain to me. Explain what this plant is. I need to know. Because I've just been calling them mountain palms. I know what you did to make them. I just am trying to understand what exactly they are. Oh, yeah. Like, look at that bunker. Imagine that bunker coming out this direction even a little more and being dropped down to an extent where it just kind of stares you in the face and makes you go, <laughs> I don't know. That's, my, that's been my feeling on every hole here. This is a good hole. I like the uh, I like the angles on this one. And this one works. Um, yeah, even that could have been. This back bunker, I'm not 100% sold on. I think you, you were doing such a good job with your... Uh, oh, I got you. Ponga trees. Cool. You've done such a good job with your runoffs. I think having a runoff back here would have been pretty sweet. But I like the fact you've made everything pretty easy. You know what? You could have even had a runoff over here because if somebody's going to lay up over here to the left and they have to play across, give them the opportunity to just go, goodbye. <laughs> but I like this hole. This is, this is nice. All right. Well, that's the shot I was trying to hit. Let's see what happens. Uh, down the hill. Hello. You done you done messed up, A. A. Ron. Trying to see what the green is doing up there. Getting a little feisty here, buddy. The greens are getting a little feisty. I like it. Ooh, look at that. Somebody put their shadow over the grass up there. That was another drunk guy falling in thing. I haven't noticed a lot of the pathing here. This is, uh, this is easily, easily the best par three on this golf course. Just visually in the way it's all framed in and sits. Um, I also like the like the green. It's got a lot going on. Really? I know it was uphill, but seventeen miles now. It's it's a joke. It's a little uh, key and peel joke. They had a substitute teacher. Anyway, and he, the guy's name was Blake, and he goes, he's calling Roland. He's like Balake. 
where are you at, Balake? It was like an inner city teacher coming out to a suburb school, and he's like, it's pronounced Blake. And he goes, oh, no, no, you didn't. You don't want to start with me. D-nice. You know, it was Denise. Aaron was A.A. Ron. There were some good ones. I enjoyed Balake. But yeah, that's the best par three on the course right there. Unless we we're ending with one, which we might. I mean, I don't remember the scorecard, but we might. So this is what I'm okay with because you you've sloped it enough right to left up in here that you know you make this a an option, especially if the wind's in your face. I think it would have been cool to maybe layer a couple of bunkers in here instead of just one. Well, that's where I was going, AA Ron. You done messed up, AA Ron. Let's see if we can get there. Oh, a very fast thing. I get it done. Fast would have been good. Very fast, not so much. That's an interesting hole. You give you give them a mile to hang themselves. I think I'm going to get away with it. But Now, when I say layering bunkers and making them a little bolder in that, I don't mean to go the route, pardon me, of just adding a lot of bunkers because that's another thing people do. They just slap bunkers everywhere. These were the bunkers I saw on the first hole that I thought had some good shaping to them. But yeah, look at that. I mean, I can see the sand. I just feel like I'd like to feel the sand a little bit more. I'd like it to be a little more in my face. Because, in a, and again, this is not a, a knock as much as it is just my own personal view. I don't remember a lot of these holes. I mean, there are a few that I recall. There's that last part three. I remember the first two part threes because I just they, they just kind of blended in. And I commented on it, so I, I recognize that fact. Um, there are a couple of the short par fours that I recall. Um, there's the par five. Well, there's a par four that had a uh, or a par five that had a set of stairs on it that I didn't think they needed to have. But there's the par five that uh, had the green over tucked behind a tree on the right. But some of the holes kind of ran together on me a little bit which I think being a little a little bolder would uh, take care of that but no that's a good course and I think that's a that's a, a a CCM or pro course I think that one would work for either one I think the am guys would have fits on those greens not because they're they're you know crazy, but just they're just frustrating. Um, some of the pro guys would eat it alive, but that's that's fine. I mean, I just played it in seventeen mile an hour winds, so that makes a difference too. All right, and that noise you hear in the background is my cue that I need to be done for a little bit. Um, I think I have how many more to do? Do I have two more to do? I'm looking here. I have two more, so probably tomorrow morning I'll. I'll hit those, and then we will be done with these. Um, let me know what you guys think about how this is going. Um, if you want me to keep doing this kind of thing, even going forward on some courses, if people like it, I certainly can. I got, I think I said I got my email from Twitch the other day about um, becoming an affiliate, and uh, I may. I just don't know what kind of time I have. You know what I mean? This is not something that I, I have to make time to do this. I don't just have time to do it. Um, so that may or may not work. But hey, if it nets me a, you know, 50 bucks a month, I'll do it. I don't care. Anyway, you guys take care and uh, I'll be back. If not to my, tonight, then uh, in the morning, probably uh, mid-morning would be uh, where I'd look. See ya.